we'll get started with Form A. We'll inspect, inspect the front of the vehicle. First off, I'd like to inspect my lights. Lights on the front should be amber in color, clean, not cracked, securely mounted. Headlights should be clear, clean, not cracked, securely mounted. We have to check all both sides. Clean, not cracked, securely mounted, amber. Clean, not cracked. Lights at the top, my clearance lights, clean, securely mounted, amber in color. I'd like to check underneath my vehicle for any leaks that I might have. You look for puddles, oil, coolant, any fluids underneath my vehicle. I'm going to open the hood and inspect my engine compartment. Start on the passenger side. First thing I'd like to inspect is my water pump. My water pump said bolt should be tight, not leaking. Belt driven. Check my belt. No splits or cuts on my belt. My belt tension should be half inch to three quarter inch of tension on my belt. Check my coolant. Check my coolant level should be between maximum and minimum. I'd like to check this side of the motor for any excess of leaks. Check all my hoses on this side of the motor. They should not be kinked, swollen, clamps should all be tight, no leaking hoses. Check this side of my engine. Check all my hoses that they're not kinked, swollen, clamps are tight, not leaking. No excessive leaks on this side of my engine. Check my alternator. It's belt driven. It should be securely mounted. Wires should be secure on the back of my alternator. It's belt driven. My belt should be half inch to three quarter inch of tension. No splits or cuts on my belt. Check my engine oil. Make sure it's between add and full. Check my power steering. Check the level. Make sure it's between add and full. I have to say that it is gear driven. My power steering pump is on the back of my motor. It's gear driven, working properly, not leaking, securely mounted. Check my air compressor, which is right above my power steering pump. It should be working properly. Line should be secure, not leaking, securely mounted, and gear driven. I have to say it's gear driven. Okay, I'd like to go on to my steering components and check my steering box, make sure it's securely mounted, bolts are tight, it's not leaking, it's not cracked, power steering hoses, clamps are tight, hoses aren't kinked, hoses aren't leaking. Check my steering linkage, it's not bent or broke, my bolts are all tight. I'll check that all the way to my axle and check my tie rod. Should be straight, bolts are tight, not bent, broke, cracked. We'll go on and check our axle. Our axle consists of our brake parts, our suspension parts, and our wheel parts. We'll start with our suspension parts. Uh, we'll start with the spring mounts. I'll check to make sure my bolts are tight, not cracked. Any bushings that you have should be not torn or missing. You have to check the rear spring mount, also your front spring mount for the same thing. Not cracked, bolts are tight, any bushings aren't missing or split. I'll check my leaf springs, they should all be in alignment, shouldn't be cracked, rusted. Check my U-bolts, they should not be shifted. Nuts are tight, not cracked or rusted. And check my shock absorber. It should be straight, bolts are tight, should not be leaking. Go on to my brake parts. My brake parts are my hoses, air hoses. They shouldn't be kinked or swollen or leaking. Fittings should be secure check my brake chamber, nuts should be tight, 
brake chamber should not be leaking, cracked, and I have to check my band, make sure my band is secure around my brake chamber. I'll check my push rod. My push rod should be straight, should not travel over one inch when I apply my foot brake on the inside. I'll check my slack adjuster. My slack adjuster should be straight, not cracked, and my pin should be secure, attaching it to my push rod. On the inside, my brake parts are my drum. I should check my drum, make sure it's smooth, no cracks, no grease or oil, and my bolts are tight. I will check my brake linings. They should be sufficient, approximately a quarter inch. should be smooth, not chipped, no grease or oil on my brake pads or brake linings. Then I'd like to do my wheel parts. My wheel parts are my tire, front tire, minimum tread depth should be 4 30 seconds of an inch. The wear on it should be even, no nails. The sidewall should have no splits, cuts, bubbles. I would check my valve stem, should be straight, should have a cap, not leaking. And I would also check my tire pressure with the air gauge. I would check my rim. My rim should have no welding on it, should have no cracks, should have a good feed to the tire, it's not rusted. Check my lug nuts, make sure none are missing, they're tight, no signs of rust, that might indicate my lug nuts are loose. And I'll check my axle seal, bolts are tight, my axle seal should not be leaking. That would conclude Form A.